my lovelies, time for my August favourites. You might have noticed that I didn't have any go up in July. That was because I was quite unwell and lost my voice. So I thought it was kind of better to give, give myself a bit of time to rest, get better and uh, come back in September. Oh my god, I can't believe it's September. That must mean it's almost Christmas. Crikey. It's like something like 100 days until Christmas. I'm not ready for this. But that is kind of a good segue because I have been thinking about Christmas quite a bit. And I've been burning this Akoya candle, which I've saved this since last year or maybe the year before. It's so good. It smells like pine needles. Mm. There's nothing quite like that to get you in the mood. And I'm almost out. I've got like that much to go. So I'm going to be heading in store to get some new ones. I'm not sure when they're released, but I will ask the team at Akoya and pop that in my blog post. So you'll be able to find that out and I'll find out what, what scents they're doing this year. They kind of, I think they always do pine needle and then another kind of more fruity, more fruity one. I keep living in hope that they will bring back the, I'm not sure what it was called, but it was like plum pudding, I think. And it, oh man, it smells so good. Uh, the other one I'm burning is another Akoya candle, and this one is Oriental Lily and Patchouli. I've got a much bigger version, as you can see. <clears throat> um, and that one's just kind of a, I guess, a more musky smell. Um, it's really good for every day. It's not too overpowering, and actually, my, I think my boyfriend picked this one up. It's really nice. That's that one. Um, and I've been burning that in my bedroom and actually in my office as well because I really like having those nice scents around me. Um, oh, what should we go next? Everything smells really good, so my room smells real good right now. Um, this one here from the body shop is the Virgin Mojito Body Butter. So it smells like lime and mint, which is freaking amazing, especially coming into summer. Um, you know, the kind of time when you want cocktails. I've been using this as an all over body moisturizer. It smells freaking amazing. Um, my boyfriend used it as well, so I'm going to actually have to hide that so that he doesn't use all of it. And this collection isn't in store yet. I think it's in store on the 5th of October, so it's really soon. But they've got a whole range based around this scent, and I think it's perfect for summer. So if that's your jam, then make sure you go and check it out. It's just a, you know, like a nice thick, you can't see anything, but it's like just a nice thick body butter, perfect for getting your legs ready for the beach, or ready for fake tanning. Um, what else do I have? So, I'm pretty sure that every month I'm going to talk about shampoo, because I keep finding ones that I like, but I've actually returned to an old favourite, which is Curly Whirly by Lush, it's especially for curly hair. It's got loads of coconut, and when I say loads of coconut, I mean that sometimes I'm shaking coconut out of my hair after I've used it. Like, it's really amazing. It smells like a tropical holiday. It looks like coconut ice a little bit. Um, yeah, that's... I think this is the best one for curls. Just it's super hydrating, and it just makes the hair really nice. So I always come back to that one. And I've never been a hair treatment girl, other than if I'm using like Evo Fabuloso or something for maintaining my colour, or redepositing that colour. But I'm trying to, you know, I want to have those mermaid hair goals. Um, but I don't want the ends to be gross, so I've been using the Manu Hair Mask from Davinus. And that's part of, I'm pretty sure I mentioned them last time. It's the ones for colour treated hair from Devonus. It's just really nice. Has it, it has that same scent. Um, it's got caper blossom extract in it. And I put that on maybe once a week. And it's been making my hair amazing. Soft. Shiny. You know, like, like you see on TV here. That's happening right now. It's pretty awesome. Um, for a, actually this is a, a totally new product for me, I've never been really into primers, 
and I don't I don't know if I've ever used like a fix product over the top of my makeup but I've been seriously working on my makeup game this year and I came across Bossy Cosmetics which is a New Zealand company and I had to order this product it's the Lux 2-in-1 Prime and Fix so I put it on before I put my foundation on and then I put it on once I've completed my makeup so it will help set that I got the one for dry skin so they do dry oily oily or combination skin so you can kind of get for whatever you want and I also use it to refresh my skin during the day like if I find my foundation getting a little bit dry just give, give my face a quick spritz and I think that'll be really nice in summer as well it smells amazing and is easy to use another bossy product that I've been using is the quick hide and heal acne treatment so it just kind of, it looks like a little lip balm you. Oh. oh it smells really good. Um, it's got a whole bunch of oils in it like uh, lavender, patchouli, calendula, rosemary, tea tree, jojoba, castor oil, beeswax, coconut oil. So packed with goodness and how you use it is you just dab a little bit onto if you've got a spot on your chin or whatever and then dab it to blend it and it kind of just makes it go away in a couple of days. I've been using it for I guess the last month or two and it does make my pimples go away really fast it dries them out it's awesome another little skin treat while I was sick the team at Sukin sent me their some of their rosehip oil and because I've got dry skin when I am unwell and you know when you're taking antibiotics and your skin goes haywire it's really bad for me and it goes dry and flaky and freaking gross so I've been using the rosehip oil in the evenings kind of changed up my skin routine a little bit just to add in that extra moisture and it's done wonders for my skin I've had so many people commenting on how great my skin's looking so that's awesome and, and it just you know it comes in a handy little dropper bottle easy to use you only need a few drops so it lasts for freaking ages I barely made a dent in mine And, well, okay, so I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, so I'm going to say it again, um, because I've used it pretty much every day this month. Um, Karen Morell's lipstick in the shade Violet Mousse, it's what I'm wearing at the moment, and it's a real My Lips But Better shade. It's the perfect nude if you're not into super bright colours, you don't want anything super bold. It's a really great neutral to have. And it's kind of, I don't even know what colour I call it, it's like lip colour. Well, it's, it's my lip colour actually. So it's the perfect shade for me and I never thought I would like something that's so neutral, but I really do. Uh, in terms of fashion, I found a few favourite things over August. One of them arrived actually in July. July? Must have been July. Right after I had filmed my June favourites. And it's this sweater here. It's an animal print. I think it's a snake print. Just a really nice light knit from Autograph. It's I got it on sale, so I'm pretty sure it's not there anymore. But they, I know that they do have some awesome stuff there at the moment. So make sure you check it out. I just I really like the feel of a light knit over spring just because it's something warm to put on but it's not too hot you know when the weather starts getting warm and you feel like you've worn too many clothes not this time um oh over here so i went to the warehouse and got some crop tops from their active intent range um you know, nothing exciting in terms of a sport crop, but I was really impressed that they went up to a 2XL, which fits me, and I'm usually a 24 to 26. Um, and I got this one that is pink, and then it's reversible, so on the other side it's like a pink pattern. And I got a, just a plain black one as well, because, you know, black goes with everything. And one that's purple on one side, and then a purple pattern on the other, so that actually matches my sneakers, which is quite nice. I like to be matchy matchy 
Um, I think it's really important to have clothes that are, you feel comfortable in and that are kind of cool to work out in. It just gives you that extra level of motivation because if you have to get changed into something you don't enjoy wearing to exercise, then you're not going to want to do it. Um, I'm actually, I'm fangirling out quite a bit over activewear at the moment. So you can expect to see some more in my September favourites because I've actually recently gotten some new stuff that's quite cool. Um, but this is August favourite, so you'll have to wait and see about that. Although if you keep an eye on my Instagram, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to be posting over the next few days because it's NZ Style Curvettes Activewear Week. Um, if you haven't joined us for NZ Style Curvettes, we're a group of women over size 14 based in New Zealand and Australia. We do a weekly challenge which is listed on my blog and I'll link that down below if you want to join in. You can play along on your blog or on Instagram. And just check out our weekly challenge list and use our hashtag which is NZ Style Curvettes. I think that's my favourites for this month. I... I've just got so much stuff going on. Oh, I know there was one other thing. Nutribullet. So I got a Nutribullet from the Nutribullet PR team recently. And I have been, you know, I've been having smoothies for quite a while. But this has totally changed my game. So I can make it all in one container. It's super easy to use. It takes like 10 seconds or something to make a smoothie. So there's really no excuse not to have breakfast or not to have it as a healthy snack. And I will show you, insert video here, of the, just, you know, what I put in mine. And I'd really like to know what you have in your smoothies. So, yeah, just uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what your favourite smoothies are. This one is a spinach, mango, um, almond milk, and banana smoothie. So it's nice and quick. I always like to include spinach in the stuff's homegrown and organic, so I know that it is packed full of goodies and doesn't have nasties. Um, and okay, so the sun's out now, so I'm going outside. I love you all and hope you're all looking after yourself. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what stuff you're loving for August. Bye.